Hi guys, it's Rach. So a little while ago I posted on my Facebook page that I was going to be doing an order for a makeup gig and if you don't know who Makeup Gig is or Makeup Geek TV, her name is Marlena. She's a YouTuber here. She's been doing YouTube for many, many years. She was one of the first beauty YouTubers that I ever subscribed to and she has her own range of makeup products. She's a makeup artist, a very, very talented one and now she has a company yeah. with a whole range of makeup and it's something that I've wanted to try for a very, very long time and I've just never gotten around to doing it. I have no idea why. So I posted that and I got a lot of questions and comments asking for a haul, asking for a review, um, saying that you guys wanted to do an order or were curious about the products as well. So that is what I'm going to do today. My order arrived and I've had a chance to play around with a few of the products. So I'm going to do a haul slash a first impressions review so I can let you guys know what I'm loving. So I'm going to start with the three products that I got that aren't actually Makeup Geek. So on the website there are actually a few products that aren't specifically Makeup Geek products. There's some NYX and some other brands and one thing that you can buy is MAC pigment samples and there are other places that sell MAC pigment samples but sometimes I'm a little bit wary about buying from them. I do trust Marlene I trust that she's an up and up business person so I do believe that these are true MAC pigment samples. What I like about MAC pigment samples is that you get to try the product for a fraction of the price and I never use up pigments. I rarely use pigments as it is because sometimes they're just a little bit messy and um, a little bit harder to use than pressed shadows and I have never gotten through either of the couple of um, full size MAC pigments that I do have. So these are a fantastic size, not just to try but to really get a fair amount of use out of. I picked up three. I picked up Vanilla. I also got Reflex Pearl and I got Reflex Antique Gold. All of these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. The packaging's great. They actually are labeled on the bottom, so you don't need to worry about labeling them yourself, and you'll get a ton of use out of these. The MAC pigment samples sell for $4.89 each, which is a bargain given how much a full-size MAC pigment costs in Australia. So if you've ever wanted to try um, some of the MAC pigments, they do have a fair few on there. I would definitely recommend these, so I'm very happy with that purchase. All the other products that I picked up were Makeup Geek specific. The first thing that I have here to show you are two Makeup Geek brushes. So the first one I have here is the Makeup Geek Duo Face Brush, I believe that it's called. What do they call it here? They call it the Cheek Highlighter Brush, and it's actually called a MAC 188 dupe. I actually have a MAC 188 brush. So this is what they look like here. They are very similar. The Makeup Geek brush is slightly longer. The one main difference is that the MAC one is a duo fiber. These bottom bristles are actually natural fibers and then the top are synthetic. Whereas these do feel like a duo fiber, but I feel like that the bottom black bristles are also synthetic as well as the top because they're just not as rough. They don't feel like um, natural hairs. They feel very smooth. This, the Makeup Geek one actually also has more, is more dense when it comes to these white longer bristles. So in some ways I actually like this better. So they are very similar. I don't know if I'd say it's an exact dupe, but it's very, very close. And I do actually like this brush. I've used this for cream blush, um, also cream highlighter. So overall, I am happy with this brush. If you wanted to try the MAC 188, then I do think that this one works just as well. Um, but if you've already got a brush like this, then I don't necessarily think that you need to pick up this one because it's not really that much different. And this brush here was $7.99. The other brush that I picked up is this Makeup Geek one here. This is called the Dome Face Brush and it was $8.99. Now when I looked at this on the website, I actually thought it was about half the size that it is in real life. This feel like it does have natural fibers because it's not super duper soft. It's actually um, quite textured. And it is quite dense, so I think this would probably work well for buffing in mineral foundation or a powder foundation. Um, you could probably use it for blush, but not a really pigmented blush because it's just way too dense. But a um, lesser pigmented blush you could probably work for, same um, for a bronzer. You could probably do it if you want to do sort of a heavy amount of powder. Overall, I think it's okay, but I would probably have saved my money and picked up something else. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this brush if you have other brushes that are similar, you definitely don't need this one. The next products that I picked up are two of the gel eyeliners and this was originally off my list and then one of you guys actually recommended the gel eyeliners to me on my Facebook page. So I was about to pay and then I quickly sort of clicked out and added these to my cart. The first one that I have here is Immortal and this is a black gel liner 
really cute packaging, very professional packaging. They are cruelty free and this one has been distributed by Makeup Geek but was made in China. These are incredibly creamy, incredibly pigmented, go on extremely extremely well. I am super duper impressed and really really glad that I picked this up. I have been applying them with my Sigma Angled Eyebrow E75 brush and I really really um, like that for these. I think they'd make great bases under eyeshadows as well because they are so creamy. They'd be very very blendable. Um, I definitely have my eye on probably picking up another one or maybe even two of these if there's um, some more slightly coloured ones because I am extremely impressed with these. And this was $7.99. The other gel liner that I picked up here is called Rave. This one is this kind of gunmetal silver grey metallic colour. It does have some light kind of reflex almost in it. I just thought this would be a really nice colour. I think it would make a great base for a smoky eye. It's just something slightly less harsh than a um, dark or a pure black eyeliner. So very happy with these two and I would definitely recommend the gel liners. I also tested out the Black Immortal colour on my waterline. I applied it by using a trick that Marlena taught me way, way, way back when by um, using a just a general eyeliner pencil, which mine seem to have been missing. So you just get a black eyeliner pencil like this, use it in or rub it into the gel liner and then run it along your lower waterline. I find that that is the easiest way to apply gel liner to the waterline. I applied it at 6 a.m. in the morning and when I got home at 6.30 or just after 6.30 at night, I still had black on my waterline, my lower waterline. So I was extremely impressed with their longevity on the waterline. I also found that they didn't smudge or crease or transfer onto my lid like some liners can. So that's a great bonus as well. The next products that I picked up were two of the makeup Geek lipsticks. There was a, quite a range of colours on there. The first one I picked up is Foxy. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's kind of like a, it's a warm red but it's not too warm. It does have that, it's almost, I would call it a true red. This one here is very emollient. It seems to be more emollient than my other colour that I picked up. So it's um, quite, it has a fair amount of sheen to it. It goes on quite easily. This one has a fair amount of slip to it too. So I find that it's not as pigmented or as long lasting as the other shade that I picked up, which means I think there's probably some variation in the way that certain colours are made. I also found that they they don't really have much of a scent. I do think they have a small amount of fragrance in them. And then on top of that, you can smell the wax that's used to make a lipstick. You guys know what I'm talking about, that kind of um, waxy lipstick smell. But it's not too overpowering. I do it, like this colour. I think it's very pretty and it does feel quite nice on the lips. The other shade that I picked up was Innocent. And this colour here is a really nice pinky nude colour. You guys know me, I don't wear nudes very often because I feel like they really wash me out and I really struggle to find a nice nude. But this one I can safely say is a very nice nude. This one isn't uh, doesn't have as much slip or as much shine as the other shade, the foxy shade, but it does last longer I believe because of that. And this one does seem to be a little bit more pigmented. It is a gorgeous pink nude colour. If you struggle with nudes, then I think you will like this one. And so far, I have been really enjoying that colour. Both the lipsticks were, again, $7.99, and I do think that they are nice products. I don't know if they're anything super-duper special, but if you find a colour on there that you like, then I do think that you should pick it up because they are nice products. The next product that I have to haul is one of the Makeup Geek pigments. And since I made this order, I already have my eye on two other pigments, which tells you how much that I've been enjoying this one. This pigment is is Afterglow and this is made in the US. Again, it's cruelty free. It's really nice packaging. This was $6.99. You get a fair amount of product in here. You get 1.4 grams. I don't I want to open this but I don't want it to go everywhere. Just like the uh, MAC pigments, I've only used a little bit off the lid so this will probably last me forever. This is a gorgeous shimmery, um, I guess you'd call it a slightly gold, slightly bronze colour. It looks absolutely stunning. I have been loving this. I can put it all over the lid. You can use it as a little bit of a highlight color. You could use it on the inner corner. It can be used wet or dry. Just really, really stunning. And then the last product that I picked up is the Makeup Geek Starter Eyeshadow Kit. And I got the bundle. So you could get just the nine eyeshadows for $49.99 or for $59.99 you could get it with the nine pan Z palette which I thought was good value because even on the Z palette website the nine pan 
palette is $14 I believe and this works out if you pay for the extra $10 you get the palette so I thought that was great value and a great way to just start with the Makeup Geek eyeshadows I had no idea which ones that I wanted although again I've started a list of ones that I want now they all fit in the pan they actually do come packaged individually like this if you guys have bought MAC Pro Pan eyeshadows before you'll know that this is very similar packaging and then the um, Z palette comes just packaged separately as well but I've pulled all mine out just so you could see them a mixture of satin finish and matte finish shades and so far I think they're incredible I've tested every single one they're all extremely pigmented um, I'm very very impressed this black here which is called corrupt so incredibly pigmented more pigmented than my mac carbon it's just fantastic put it over that immortal liner and you get the blackest black line that you've ever seen so i really love that another shade that you get is coco bear which is a really nice warm brown color another really popular shade and i know that it's one of marlena's favorites because she mentions it a lot in videos the next shade that's here is shimmer shimmer which is a gorgeous shimmery uh light champagne color. Malena recently did a MAC dupe video where she showed some of the shades um, next to MAC products that she thought were dupes. I remember this one was one of the ones that was included in that. So I'll link that video in the description box so you guys can go check it out because there may be some MAC shadows that you wanted um, to get that you could buy the Makeup Geek dupe for. I believe individually these sell for under $6. So really, really great value, particularly given how expensive MAC is here in Australia. The next one we have is Mocha, which is a really nice dark warm brown. Then we have Drama Queen, which is a really pretty dark shimmery purple, which I think may have a little bit of silver glitter in it. We also have Glamorous, which is a nice warm toned brown. We have Creme Brulee, which is a peachy toned matte brown neutral color then prom night which is a silvery gray color it has a slight sort of purple tinge to it i think when you put it with purples it would definitely bring out the purpleness in the color and the last one is definitely one of my favorites it's unexpected which is a really nice neutral matte purple shade which i think would look great with brown eyes really nice for blending out really nice all over the lid or in the crease it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Tears, I think it is from the Naked 2 palette, that light kind of purpley shade. This one might be slightly more purple, but overall, extremely, extremely impressed. Out of all the products, I think the eye products really, really stand out. And if you wanted to pick up some products from the Makeup Geek website, the eye products are the ones that I would definitely start with because they are the ones that I think you get the best value for the money. And they are the ones that I think were probably the most time was put into because they really are the best quality out of all the products that I have had here to show you. In terms of the whole shopping experience, the Makeup Geek website was really easy to use. It's just makeupgeek.com. They do offer international worldwide shipping through um, the United States Postal Service. When I ordered, I believe there was three options. There was like an Express, an Expedia, and then First Class Mail, which was the cheapest. I went for the cheapest option and I placed the order on the 19th of July. It was shipped on the 23rd of July, so there was a couple of days processing and then it arrived on the 30, 31st of July. So the actual shipping took less than 10 days and the whole process took I think it was just under two weeks from when I placed the first order to when it arrived on my doorstep. It cost $17.19 for to ship all these products, which I thought was quite good value. Again, like I said, that was the cheapest. You could pay more to have it shipped faster, but I didn't think that was necessary. Two weeks for me is fine. The shipping wasn't capped. It was weight slash size based. Other than that, I thought they offered good customer service. On the um, invoice here it says if you have any comments or concerns you can contact them via customer service at makeupgeek.com. We strive to improve and value your comments. Um, there's also a really cute little note in the box. They don't know me so I'm guessing this just goes to everybody. It said, Rachel, thanks for your order. Enjoy your new products. Have a splendid day. Love, Makeup Geek. That like, looks like it's actually a handwritten note which I thought was really, really cool, very cute. I like when companies like personalize your order. I think it makes it just that little bit more um, special. I also got emails letting me know that the order was received and also when the product shipped, so I knew that my order was being processed. The total order did come to 147.78, which for all those products, I thought was pretty good value. You could only get like six MAC eyeshadows here in Australia for that same amount of money. I managed to get nine eyeshadows plus all of those other products. So I do think that that was worth it. So overall, I've enjoyed the products and I'm really happy with my order and I'm already planning to do another order. So definitely 
definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any products that you have wanted to try from Makeup Geek because they may be added to my wish list as well. Also, if you have any comments or questions about my order or anything that I haven't covered in the video, please let me know and I will answer them the best that I can. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! I got a lot of questions saying, asking for a haul and a review and saying that you guys... My bad. <laughs> Ow! My strap is falling off. I applied it at 6am in the morning. Oops, sorry that was my phone. Um, shun, shun.